accelerator on here and then dot pan magnets with glue. I think that's the the method. So, there's one row and um, these will have three magnets, then these have two and the other ones have only one. Now, in the, the idea of mine actually also meant these magnets will be, the last three will be either further away, same goes for these, which is kind of stupid because I didn't take that into account with uh, CNCing. So that's kind of stupid, but I can make these like here close and further away and at the end. So that's what I'm pr probably going to do. I'll, I'll show you. It's going to be kind of a wedge design, kind of weird. Now I'm not sure if I... Ow. If they can like sustain itself on here. Or if they come off later on. become a bit snappy now. You see something like this. Just being one half. Put that somewhere. The other one. Well, I'll do that off camera. It's the same boring thing. So, this looks incredibly crappy and weird. It's standing against this piece of crap. Uh, not ideal, but <coughs> so it is a uh, sort of curved. I mean, it's like parts. So this is flat, of course. Then a bar, and then well, it follows the curve. Um, if I would make this nicer, it's now sitting on filled pads or felt pads. But I might 
be able to uh, bias the membrane that I did somewhere along in a video somewhere. And then it would really be a curve. Not sure what it what it matters. Efficiency is totally shit. No surprise, because the efficiency, if I use it as a normal ribbon, like here, you know, magnets close by, it, uh, the efficiency is already shit. And as you can see, the magnets expand outwards. And it does duty, at least that's the idea. I, I had this idea this morning, like, hmm, maybe that could work. So the original uh, CB45 has like this part playing uh, at 0 dB, this part sort of at minus 3, minus 6, minus 9. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so... Uh, Zero, three, six, six, nine, twelve dB. Now, by spacing out these magnets, I am not totally achieving that. Uh, it does come rather close, closer than I expected. Ideally, you would like put these magnets not like on a ramp like it is right now which is very convenient but it's uh, not as easy to control I should have made sort of a jig so you can move the magnets inwards and outwards because then you have a better idea I by the way I did this in femme and then uh, it was kinda not what I expected not completely. So I have one of these uh, meters, so you can just put it in, and that's a bit easier to dick around with, to be fair. If these magnets were like repositionable, then it would be rather easy to achieve uh, what I wanted. So it has a... It is minus 12, I believe, up top. So almost there. Maybe I can space this a little bit farther apart, and then it's it's more correct but it's not very efficient of course doing it like this because the ribbon itself is not very efficient and now I screw up even more in efficiency but if I play tune real quick so let's check uh, how it performs well not perform I mean I'm not gonna take the audio recorder out it's not about how it sounds so much it's more about uh, dispersion kind of I'm not sure if you can hear that on a camera that sounds shit yeah so i'm sitting here just put some music up on Now we're standing, normally your highs will be gone. Somewhere in the middle there's still some sort of... humpy thing. At least... At this point there's more mid-range, I believe. But maybe that's normal, I don't know. Here, a bit more low. Weird thing. Um, I tried measuring the different parts. So you can see that the SPL drops, and uh, uh, in total, it drops. It's 
90 here and it's like 17 okay so around 10 db so it's actually 5 db not enough so that might be the hot spot i here if i sit down down so <clears throat> This idea of just spacing out the magnets to uh, attenuate the output works, of course, but it should be a little bit more extremer, maybe not as graduate as I did. And if so, then I should like begin splitting here already a little bit more and make it wider up there. So this is even less efficient as well as this here. I tried with using a two mag like three magnets here, then uh, two magnets, and then one magnet. But uh, yeah, that's not easy. Um, the difference between one magnet and two magnets, or two magnets and three magnets, is so huge. Uh, it's like a huge drop. So what I did is, or what I tried to do is, look at the magnetic field here. And knowing it uh, has to drop 3 dB here and 6 dB there, I'll just half the magnetic field here and try to get like uh, somewhere in between these two to drop the 3 dB. And same for the last parts. So it works. <laughs> it works. Uh, it's sitting on some felt, which is not ideal because it rattles and it does crap sound makes sound. Um, I'm gonna place it in the middle of the room I think and measure it from several differences see if it does some sort of keep its um, yeah how it looks if it does indeed become a what is it constant directivity thingy. Yeah. But yeah uh, Fun to do. Another thing I ask myself is what if I make it all like this? Then I do have the uh, delay, but I don't have the uh, shading. Uh, and when I look at shading only, or uh, only the delay versus, so like a bended or a curved line array and shading. Shading, of course, is even better if you use curved and shading, as I did right now. Uh, but only curved looks at least in the vertical dispersion already much 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 better than flat weirdly enough so uh yeah uh, it still it still beams uh but it, lo it looks much smoother and beams less so i could try that but I can try that with, with this setup even, but maybe I'll measure it like it is right now a few times in the room before I change the width. Not sure if I'm ever gonna use this or do something with it, but you can do this also with a uh, planar magnetic tweeter, for instance, which could be quite interesting. Yeah, that could be quite interesting. Well, I'm uh, gonna put it in the room, in the middle of the room, and uh, measure it from a distance, see what it does. I've never filmed so much out of my hand. Usually I use a tripod, but 